Hello there, my name is John, and I'd like to welcome you to my tutorial on how to access the Interactive Analytics Server API Guide. So the first step in accessing the Interactive Analytics Server API Guide is to open up your ThingWorks Analytics standalone server, and after logging on, type in the command IP space A. You will get several lines of code returned back to you. The IP address is located right here. The next step is to open up your web browser of choice and put that number into your, your URI. The numbers that I placed there at the end, 8080, is the port number that your ThingWorks Analytics server has been configured to use. This will take you to the landing page, where you will find out some information on the an Analytics server, types of requests, responses, common parameters. Up here you'll see an area where you can put in universal neuron application ID, neuron application key, and the data set you will be using. This is to make it easier so it will autofill it throughout the rest of the jobs you are running. So I will put in the neuron application ID, which is neuron user, application key, <clears throat> and the data set name, which is an option. And you can see these default values will now be used throughout the rest of the API guide to make it easier on you so you don't have to keep typing these values which are required to interact with our machine. ThingWorks Analytics Interactive API Guide is great for beginners who are trying to familiarize themselves with the system or for advanced users who would like to explore all the available capabilities. Another useful feature is being able to run jobs on the fly through the ThingWorks Analytics interactive API guide. That concludes my tutorial on how to access the interactive analytics server API guide. Thanks for watching.